So thanks, Valerie, and uh, welcome. And so this is me. Uh, as Valor, uh, Valerie said, I'm an uh, assistant professor from Federal uh, Institute of Technology in Brazil. I'm uh, using Qt and KDE for a few uh, years uh, already. And uh, I'm contributing to the community si uh, since 2008. And in this presentation, uh, I'm going uh, I'm to talk uh, about Qt modeling, uh, which is actually a new Qt 5 add-on mo uh, module uh, I developed um, about, uh, I started to develop uh, about two uh, years ago as part uh, of my PhD research carried out at Federal uh, University of Bahia, uh, also in Brazil. Um, okay. So, uh, what's Qt modeling uh, about? So, um, first, uh, I'm, uh, I uh, would like to to talk about uh, what Qt modeling uh, isn't uh, about. Uh, I have seen some uh, some people having mistaken uh, ideas uh, about that as a kind of framework for mathematical modeling. So, Qt modeling has nothing to do actually uh, with math, uh, mathematical modeling. Uh, we are uh, interested in software mo uh, models, and uh, in particular, in particular, for having a more uh, a more pro programmatic uh, way to manipulating uh, and querying software model, like this stuff in uh, UML diagrams that uh, you should prob uh, probably be uh, used to. So, but uh, first of all, a quick survey: How many of you have already had any experience? Uh, with doing uh, UML uh, models be uh, before, okay, yeah, two persons. And how many of, uh, of you have already had experience from a, a developer point uh, of view for uh, uh, implementing uh, UML meta models or writing plugins for tools? Okay, uh, one person. That's fine. And. So uh, yeah, uh, we uh, we want to have this kind uh, of stuff uh, working uh, in queues and in KD uh, applications. So uh, why do we need software models? Um, uh, obviously, uh, we have the more naive motivations for uh, working uh, with models, like uh, using them for documentation pur uh, purposes to document the main decisions uh, of uh, your uh, architecture and let newcomers see this documentation uh, and uh, start doing that, con uh, that contributions. But uh, we can uh, also use software models for source code generation, uh, generation or for keeping models and code in, uh, in sync. And we can uh, also uh, use uh, models for representing uh, architectures that uh, are recovered from existing software. Uh, or to to verify if the implemented uh, architecture are uh, indeed uh, what the uh, architect um, have the uh, prescribed for uh, your implementation. And uh, we have seen some uh, some uh, works uh, of quality uh, assurance uh, and continuous uh, integration being done uh, with the support uh, of models, and that's fine for have some technology uh, independence. Um, if you, uh, you work in some uh, mission critical systems, uh, you may uh, use model, uh, models for doing some prediction uh, of quality uh, attributes uh, or for simulating the, the benefits uh, of uh, your software before uh, you, are, uh, uh, you are deeply going into coding stages. And model uh, is the basic tool uh, also for creating domain specific languages. Uh, there's uh, also more uh, advanced uh, uses uh, of mod, uh, models deployed uh, at runtime for supporting, for example, self-adaptive uh, systems. So models can play a quite uh, interesting role uh, also in a software process, uh, uh, development process, but uh, uh, also uh, in, uh, in runtime. Uh, why do we need Qt modeling? So uh, when I uh, started my PhD some uh, years ago, uh, we basically uh, this is not actually the the main 
target of our research, but we needed to handle with very huge models and with many, many models simultaneously. And we basically realized that we had some issues in scalability performance and standard dirty compliance in current available Java-based implementation for supporting uh, UML, like for example the Eclipse modeling framework. And there is a, a lack of uh, up-to-date C++ or Qt-based implementation for uh, open and manipulating uh, UML mo uh, models. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Umbrello is a, a pretty good uh, application, but uh, it's still uh, using uh, UML version one, so uh, it lacks a lot of new features provided by UML.2.4 or 2.5. And we could support more modeling features in Kit Creator or K Developer if you have all the, this infrastructure for dealing with models written in C or Qt. And we could also have more model centric process in KDE uh, working flow, uh, using models as a very centric and, uh, and uh, important uh, uh, artifact in KDE projects. So uh, this picture shows the basic uh, about modeling uh, and meta modeling. Uh, when uh, you create this kind of diagram in an uh, UM, uh, UML tool, that uh, isn't actually the more important thing. This is uh, only the concrete syntax. The model in uh, itself is represented uh, as a set of uh, instances uh, of uh, meta, cla uh, meta cla uh, classes defined by uh, in, uh, in the language you uh, use it to create a, a model. So actually this class is uh, uh, indeed a, 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 an a instance of an uh, UML me uh, meta class, which uh, is UML uh, class. This uh, attribute is actually an instance with another uh, UML meta class, which uh, is uh, UML properties uh, and so on. Uh, UML is a pretty huge language. Uh, it comprises uh, about 239 meta classes. So a, little, a lot of constructs that you can uh, use uh, in, your, uh, in your models. And the UML meta model is uh, itself a model uh, which should be described in uh, another language uh, by, um, <laughs> by having these meta classes as instance of another meta meta class. And in, uh, in this case, uh, case, the UML meta model is described in the MOF language, which it's kind of a bit uh, interest uh, in stuff because the MOF is described in MOF. So it's a kind of self-contained language. The MOF class is actually an instance of the MOF class. So that is the basic stuff. Uh, you can create your uh, own MOF-based language for uh, a new particular domain and so on. Yeah, uh, uh, we want to have this uh, available as a huge implementation for creating and manipulating uh, our uh, UML uh, models by using script or C++ or uh, whatever. Uh, okay, uh, when we started the design of Qt modeling, we had some, some very uh, particular uh, interesting from, uh, from the be uh, beginning. We uh, wanted, uh, uh, we should be 100 percent compliant to the uh, OMG standards. Uh, OMG is the uh, object management group, which uh, is a consortium that maintains and uh, evolves the uh, UML model CORBA and uh, other uh, standards. Uh, we, uh, we wanted uh, our implementation to be meta model uh, agnostic. So we don't uh, want this is specific for uh, UML. It should uh, work um, uh, easily and seem, seamlessly for any uh, other languages, including uh, user-defined languages. And uh, it should be, uh, perform uh, well for, uh, we want to deal uh, with large mo uh, models and uh, also uh, with multiple models simultaneously. That uh, was some uh, of the requirements uh, of my research. 
and models should uh, also be uh, easily queried uh, or change, change it via a uh, script. Uh, we want people to create their uh, own JavaScript um, for, for dealing, querying, and manipulating this model. So how did we uh, address this, this driver one? So basically, uh, when you go to the uh, OMG UML uh, website, you can get from there a very big PDF file containing uh, 800 pages, which uh, is the UML specification. But you can uh, also get an, an XML file, uh, which uh, represents all the language meta classes as a, uh, an, uh, an XML file. So uh, what uh, we did, uh, we basically uh, use um, the per template toolkit to read this XML, and uh, we develop a set, uh, we develop, uh, develop a set uh, of templates for having this meta cla uh, classes uh, automatically implemented in, in C++ uh, and Qt. So the result is an, uh, a, f a barely complete implemented of uh, UML in Qt. Um, as I said before, uh, UML is a very huge language, 239 meta class. Um, luckily, uh, we can have 90% um, of those capabilities being uh, automatically uh, implemented by uh, using this template. The remaining uh, ones uh, are a sort of derived properties uh, that uh, you, uh, we can uh, effectively uh, writing them manually, but that is actually pretty good. And uh, also, the uh, UML met, uh, meta model has has a lot uh, of dra uh, dreaded diamonds. Uh, we know that this is a completely no go for having any Q uh, object based implementation. So uh, we have uh, we had to taking some uh, actions for dealing uh, with that. Uh, okay, for, for uh, addressing the driver 2, um, we made extensive uh, use uh, of Qt's uh, introspection capabi uh, capabilities for not committing to a specific language. Uh, we uh, didn't uh, want that. Uh, we uh, implement new modeling languages or, uh, like uh, UML, MOF, or uh, your, uh, your own as a, a uh, uh, as Qt plugins, uh, we define a, a new category for Qt pl uh, plugins, and that plugins can be discovered uh, at runtime. And we also realized that the Qt meta uh, object capabilities for dealing uh, with properties metadata has several limitations. We had some some troubles for having uh, all the UML um, capabilities for dealing uh, with Propets uh, implemented uh, in Qt. There is a bug that it's actually considered considered during how to extend Qt uh, uh, for support mm -hmm. these new features. And regarding perf performance, uh, it's actually uh, already good uh, enough. But uh, we have some some plans in the roadmap that uh, support copy uh, on write in uh, our models or uh, and. Uh, reduce the footprint uh, of uh, derived uh, union properties. It's a kind uh, of UML properties that requires a lot uh, of memory to work. Or uh, implementing shared uh, objects when dealing with multiple models at the same time. And for scripting, this was basically by using a uh, script code. You can manipulate uh, your models by uh, using JavaScript or script. So uh, this is uh, our technology uh, stack. So uh, it was built on top of Qt5. And we created uh, the Qt modeling add-on, which is responsible for implementing the basic XMI serialization and the required extensions to Qt meta, meta object systems to support uh, what uh, UML requires. And then we have a second uh, mo uh, module, uh, add-on module, uh, which uh, is Qt Modeling uh, Widgets, which implements some new Qt models and views for showing and, and displaying uh, 
uh, objects for uh, any language. And we have um, basically the plugin for uh, UML and MOF language uh, already implemented. And uh, we developed a, a tool that actually began as an example of how to use the features and it's, uh, it's pretty functional. I think I have some demo to, to, to do here. Um, the tool. Uh, it's, uh, it's not completely functional uh, yet. It's like a, a proof uh, of consent, uh, concept uh, about how to use uh, it. So we can see here uh, a set uh, of plugins and so you can you can see here the plugin uh, which uh, implements the UML meta model, the plugin uh, which uh, implements the MOF meta mo uh, mo model and you can for example Okay. For example, uh, open an UML model, which is here. So here you can see the uh, abstract representation uh, of the UML model. It's basically a class diagram. And you can select a specific model elements, and you have uh, all the UML defined properties uh, available here. It's taken. Direct to, to, uh, directly from the OMG XML file, you have you have some two chips saying uh, what is that property uh, about. That's pretty fine if uh, you want to learn uh, more uh, about uh, U, uh, UML. Here you have a, um, a JavaScript con uh, console where you have, for example, I think I have one here to show you, and uh, I want to check. Uh, with a uh, now it is safe uh, open. Uh, I want uh, okay. This uh, isn't at uh, work, but uh, you can qu uh, you can query uh, your models by JavaScript, for example to see uh, if there is uh, any uh, use uh, of multiple inheritance and check uh, if th that can be properly implemented in Java, for example. And uh, we develop uh, a sort uh, of an uh, initial v uh, version of, uh, of supporting concrete syntax. So we basically have some QML. Uh, no. Actually, is that one. You have some QML based implementation for dealing uh, with concrete syntax. It's pretty good to see how few QML codes uh, you need to have this kind of stuff uh, working. So, yeah. Uh, it works. Um, uh, it changed the screens. Sorry. Oh, 
I will finish here. And so, uh, what's next? Uh, we're still trying to, to do a release uh, of it. Uh, it's being developed uh, upstream uh, with the Qt community. And so, the, the code uh, is uh, all there. And uh, we're trying to, uh, to get some guys for doing uh, some basic review uh, of the basic uh, architecture and, and get uh, it m uh, mature uh, enough for doing uh, a release. We plan to, to do first a cute model daily release, then the meta models, then the uh, widgets at that, uh, until that can be uh, used in uh, applications and like K-Develop, K-Create or, or something like that. And uh, we still need to implement the remaining part uh, of QML based concrete syntax. And yes, uh, we need you. Uh, contributions are uh, uh, welcome as uh, usual. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Am I uh, on my uh, on my time? We have time. So, questions? Sorry? Does it replace some Does it do all the features that Umbrella does, or is it complementary? No, uh, yeah, uh, actually, um, um, the main goal here is to, is to provide the basic uh, infrastructure for dealing uh, with models, uh, um, regardless if that is going to be uh, used in uh, Umbrella or as a plugin in Kit Create or, or as a plugin in, in KDevelop. So, and uh, we can, for example, uh, basically uh, use uh, all this uh, UML implementation uh, again in uh, Umbrella. Uh, I actually have no plans for, for extending, uh, for having this tool as a new Q, uh, U, uh, UML tool. Uh, it starts as a proof of con uh, concept, and I was doing the things there, but uh, I would be very happy to see uh, Umbrella being extended to support uh, UML2 and the, 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 the new features uh, of the, the language. Any other questions? Yes, please. Uh, so when you talk about developers about this? Uh, not uh, yet, because uh, I think uh, we still need to uh, to do some uh, work for having it in a stable, stable version. Um, but I, I I had some some previous um, contact uh, with KDevelop. Uh, I've uh, already developed some plugins for for it. I think and um, having things uh, this done and uh, working properly uh, would be uh, somehow uh, easy to. To have this uh, working in, in the development. And maybe also for generation or model generation from code, code needs to be implemented in that plugin. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that uh, would be uh, one of uh, one of these goals. Yeah, to have the two-way uh, in sync models and, and code. Yeah. More questions? I guess we have a couple of minutes until our next session then. Thank you. Okay, thank you.